We moved to Thailand in 2006 and brought with us our French dog Sunday. When we took her for walks in our neighborhood of Bangkok, the local street dogs would without exception attack her as she walked through the territory they had claimed for themselves along the roadside. In those days, it wasn't unusual to see packs of street dogs like this pack roaming the lanes of the city. These dogs were born nearby and live around the top of our lane. As they grew bigger, on one occasion, they savagely attacked Sunday as a pack and our local vet stitched her up again. We bring them food most evenings and now they have lost some of their aggressiveness when we walk by. Even this black dog has become protective of us if one of the more antisocial dogs make a move on us. Near our house is a large area of empty undeveloped land where we took Sunday to get exercise off the lead six years ago when we settled here. Where I'm walking was an abandoned potter cabin and at that time a homeless person was living in it. Around and underneath it was a pack of dogs that had become attached to the resident and depended on her for food when it could be found, mostly white rice leftovers. This pack of dogs was self-protecting and didn't take kindly to other canine intruders around their territory and hurl themselves off towards Sunday each morning we passed by. We had to chase them away otherwise Sunday would get bitten and our dog wasn't used to fighting coming from a peaceful French village where dogs belong to a family as a pet. However, of the street dogs by the potter cabin, there was one thin scrawny puppy that refused to join the barking and snarling mayhem and instead came to say hello, nose to nose and wagging tail to Sunday and wanted to play. As Sunday has a playful nature, they got on very well. Each day it was the same pattern. After a while, we thought it would be nice to take this little street dog back home too, to give Sunday a friend and we negotiated with the port cabin resident and carried him home. Soda to this day ignores dogs that bark at him and has a soft and lovable nature. However, if there is any serious threat to either the house, himself or one of our other three dogs. He dives into the commotion and can fight and defend as well as any street dog, if not better. His wolf instincts take over. Soda is a typical Thai breed of dog you see quite often in Bangkok and has proven himself to be the best possible companion for us and our three other dogs we could have wished for. Soda, unlike the other dogs, has the habit of once every few months going for a long journey of exploration in the swamp behind our house. When he finally returns, he is always covered in something unbearably smelly. If we let him run around any undeveloped land, he always finds some piece of rotting fish and rubs every inch of himself in it. Sometimes even walking at least length home with him is extremely hard to do. He seems to think he smells great, a kind of Chanel for dogs, but we take the opposite view 
and have to shampoo and scrub him the instant his paws get home. Smelling of sweet scented flowery shampoo once again, he settles to sleep by our kitchen table.